Right? Yeah, they don't have mana. It's a combo, you know? It's a combo. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new YouTube video. My name is Philippa and I'm playing the Early Access of Outlaws of Thunder Junction. And you might be asking, what is Early Access? So, uh, Wizards of the Coast provides these accounts for less than 24 hours, so streamers, YouTubers can have access early on to test these cards. And basically we are wasting our gems to see what decks work, so you don't have to. But don't worry because I have all the gems in the world, although they are only temporary, but it doesn't matter I can build every deck I can, so I'm going to take advantage of this early access to build the most mean decks. And this one, it it might be the most evil to date. Like I have several combos in this deck, several ways to win, uh, and I don't know. It's it's very mean. Okay, so let's divide it by parts. This deck is a Golgari Spree deck. So we have two Spree decks cards we have rush of the dead and smuggler surprise and spree is that you can choose one or more additional costs so it has a base cost in this case it's one mana one green and then you can pay the additional cost anytime that you want in this case with the smuggler surprise we want to pay the five additional mana so for six mana instant speed instant speed you may put two up to two creature cards from your hand into the battlefield and what I really want to do is, opponent is attacking, imagine. We play this instant speed. We put two obliterators, we block block, they sacrifice everything. You know I love obliterator, but that's not all. You can do much more. You can put Galta, just dump your hand, Vein Reaper, Railroad Brawler, a new card for five mana, reach trample whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put X plus one plus one counters in it, where X is its power. So we can start putting a lot of counters on things, uh, but that's not all. We have more things. So we have one more combo, Rush of the Dead. But first you need to have for four mana, Blood Letter of Aklazot into play. So if you have that card, if an opponent would lose life during your turn, they lose twice that much instead. And then you Rush of the Dead. It's three mana and you're going to pay the second cost additionally, right, for five. Target opponent discards half the cards in their hand rounded up. Nope, not that one, the other one. <laughs> Target opponent loses half their life rounded up, that's it. So they lose half their life, but then because of Blood Letter of Aklazot, they lose half again, so they're dead, it's a combo. If you get these two cards, these and then these, they're dead. If it resolves, of course. So that's the second combo that we have, but Rush of the Dead, it's much more than that. Uh, it has three additional costs you can choose, pick and choose. Uh, the extra one is target opponent sacrifice after creatures they control rounded up, so for four mana, that's amazing. You have the two for target opponent discards off the cards in their hand, rounded up, and then the last one. And if you have mana, you can do all of them. So if you pay three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you can do all of them. They will sacrifice half of the creature they control, lose half their life, and discard half of their end. So this is a very good card late game. Uh, we also have a lot of ways to try to interact with our opponent so we can successfully combo. We have two cut downs, we have three tiny points. I mean, I just like this card. It's a one mana, you start with a dead touch. It also works well with tail swipe because I'm playing tail swipe for obliterator so we, we can fight with obliterator and they have to sacrifice all the permanents. But tail swipe works pretty well if you have a dead touch creature because that means that any creature that they have is going to die. And tiny bones is very nice because if it deals damage to a player, you may cast target no land permanent card from the player's graveyard and mana of any type can be spent to cast that spell. So we're just stealing things from opponent's graveyard. This is just giving us some time. They are too busy worrying about tiny bones. We are destroying their creatures and then suddenly we are spring. Uh, we have the smuggler surprise, tail swipe, Binding Negotiation, I just want to try this card, it's a sorcery, which is and maybe not a great, but target opponent reveals their hand, you may choose an online card from it, if you do, they discard it, otherwise you may put a face-up, exile card they own into their graveyard, so you can basically just try to take down any counters, any removal that they might have, so you can combo, it does cost two mana, but it allows you to choose basically anything. We have four deep carved 
deep cavern but for the same reason to delay your opponent i'm also trying this card it's an instant speed two mana destroy target non-outlaw creature an outlaw is an assassin mercenary pirate rogue and warlock so hopefully your opponents are not playing those so we can destroy their creatures for only two in instant speed and to Feelish of the Bog, it's a 2 mana, look at the top X cards of the library, where X is twice the number of lands you control, put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library and you can plot it. So this is a great card to try to get our pieces of the combo. And that's it, the other cards we talked about, the mana base is pretty standard, the only new thing is that the fast lands of Golgari are in, which is actually huge news for Golgari. Uh, this enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or few other lands. I know that you're here for the game and I feel like I've talked way too much, so let's get into it. 341 Trading is having a spring sale from April 10th to 15th. Their whole inventory is 5% off and they offer free worldwide shipping on all orders over 500 euros or US dollars. Check out their vast selection of eternal staples, high-end foils and sealed product. You can use code SPRINGSALE24 to enjoy free, fully insured, worldwide shipping and 5% off on their stock. Excluded from the sale is Outlaws of Thunder Junction, a non-MTG sealed product, sale items and gaming supplies. Thank you so much 341 Trading for sponsoring the video. Oh, it's us again, Celia the Dragon, amazing French streamer. So let's see. Uh, I go first. This is kind of weird. Cause I don't know. I mean, if I get lands, I guess it's not too bad. But I need lands. Cause these cards are late game. I do have some end disruption, so maybe I can gain some time. I have some removal. So who knows? Oh, come on. <laughs> I need a land. Oh. They're up to some weird things. Not sure what, but I do have removal. I mean, I have nothing else, but I have a removal. Okay, got a land, so that's good. Okay, we know what that is. Okay, I think it's time for me to try to find a land. You know what? Not bad at all. Oh, speaking of not bad, a lot of answers. Okay, I'm liking where this is going. Ah, sure. What can I do? We did get a land, so that's pretty good. We have rushed to that. I could also just go for the combo, blood letter. Plus rush to that. Which the, that does cost five mana, so I could have tried to go for it, I guess. So yeah, they want to do that. Maybe they want to flip the bird. We know there's another bird. Okay. Sure, they're giving me a food. Oh, I'll take that. Sure. 
shirt. Okay. I should have played this first, but I wanted to see what they did. Which is okay, because in the end of the day I want to combo. So that's okay. Do they have one, two, three, four, five mana available? That's okay. They draw. They copy it, maybe? So they draw two cards. I mean, how much do I care about that? Maybe not enough. What did they do? I didn't understand what they did. They counter target activity, sure. I don't know. This should work. Right? Great games! Let's Go climbing the bronze ladder because early access everyone is bronze. Let's go. It smashes him alone. Okay. I go first, so I'll keep it. Hello. Hello, my friend. Goodbye, my love. Or goodbye, my friend. Okay, so shieldred. <laughs> Destroy, destroy. They, I mean, they can start start destroying. So I'm going for bitter triumph, gaining some time and all. I have removal, so this time I'm prepared. Kind of in the land. Yeah, that geeks gets shooted. I right, do have an answer for Shieldred, but let's take a look at whatever else they have. Uh, target player, discard a card. I don't want to discard a card. I think it's this though. I wait. I'll wait for this. I'll wait to be a surprise. Sure. So they have to just choose one. Unfortunately, it will be this one. I could spree them, which would be fun. I can also just blood letter for some damage, you know. Sure. They milled me a good card. I wanted that card. Ah, that's not bad either. They go down to 10. Takanuma takes time, so that's good for me. Uh, target play, ooh. Aren't they? Hee haw! Chip. For she couldn't really showcase a lot of the new cards. The removal was good, and the plot card is amazing as well. I'll tell you that much. That plot card, I like it. I wish it was less mana, but it did work out pretty well. Okay, S Swayze. Okay, Swayze is another cool YouTuber. I really would like to win against Swayze, not going to lie. 
Tiny Bones is cool. I like Tiny Bones. Um, man, it's kind of awkward, but I'm going to try it, you know? You live and you learn. Ooh, that's better. Mm, I don't know. Might be a mistake. We'll see. Yeah, that was a mistake. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage, proliferate. Ooh, so they have a lot of cool stuff. I don't want counters. So, I guess. Mm, I don't know why they didn't play the Breasty first. I guess they want to, yeah, they want to do the training. Makes sense. I'm going to play some Tiny Bone. Oof. You just never want so many tiny bones, though, do you? Okay, so Obliterator enters the battlefield. That's a card that I love. But I could use some fighting, not going to lie. Sure. Now we're talking. I want the tail swipe to be bigger, you know what I mean? So I kind of want to do it in my turn. Ooh, that's also cool. So they have to sack basically five permanents. Sure. That's just game for me. Let's go, Swayze. Nice playing against you, but I mean, the fighter is stealing me. After off MTG. So let's see. Opponent goes first, and I think I have to move because this is not great. This is better. Maybe Rush of the Dead is for later on. I want to plot these. Oh. Spells you cast from your graveyard or exile cost two less. Okay, that's... That's rough, but sure. So they have Fading Hope. Hmm. They can use the Vengeance, there's not much I can do about that. Not that I care too much. Yeah, they might just Vengeance now. Sure. So they get that back, I'm fine with it. I have Rush of the Dead eventually, which is pretty nice. It's okay, so they can play an additional land. That's fine. This costs only two, which is kind of crazy. Sure.
They might fading hope, but we'll see. This is whenever another creature with power four, so it doesn't count itself, which is good. So yeah, I think they might cast it now. There's some cards we don't know about. I always have the Rush of the Dead, which is pretty good. Sure. Do they have two mana? Uh, sure, and sure. It's okay. So I can make them... Yeah, I can make them this uh, have to sacrifice for permanence, which is good. Of course, it depends if I can get it from here, but I should, yeah, I should. So we'll do this. My life total is a bit weird, but... Let them sack for permanence. Sure. They still cost zero, unfortunately, but I do have the Rush of the Dead, which can help me, hopefully. If I get a land, I can smuggle Surprise Galta, but that's it. I can make them sacrifice something, which is good. I can make them maybe discard or lose life. I guess I have to choose. Okay, so that's a no-brainer. Okay, that's fine. Okay, unfortunately I have to deal with that. Cut down is good. So what else could I do? So I do this one first. I can do an instant speed. I don't need to do it now. Can I go back though? No, I can't. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, I'll try these. If they have removal, they have removal. This prodigy though is annoying. Sure, I have to take it. Oh, that's good. And I can do this. For them to sacrifice that. Hopefully they don't have anything instant speed, like with haste. I'm just going to attack. Oh, they do have something. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, fair enough. I have another one, but... Okay, I still have to shoot the sheriff. Ha, oh, that's interesting. So they can create an elk. Sure. Try to attack Coco. I 
I'll shoot the elf. And I'm going to underground mortuary. See, I think I can get something. No, that's not it. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can do all the modes. I mean, I don't need all the modes, but if I could get that and that. If I have the mana. Okay, I do, which is good. So they have to discard half of the cards rounded up. So they have to discard one card and they have to lose nine life. Okay, sure. It actually doesn't matter. Okay, it makes sense. So they want to get the blood. Sure thing. They did not, did not use it immediately, which makes me think. Ooh, I can play this next turn. Make my obliterator deal double the damage. That seems good with trample. Uh, yeah, I need to try to win now. So they kind of have to block, right? Because otherwise they die. Yeah, they have to block. My obliterator dies, but they have to sacrifice five permanents. <laughs> I mean, I mean... <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't have much for me to steal. It's just for fun now. Okay, so they need to deal me two damage now. Do they have a shock? They don't, we got there. Let's go. And we are bronze because it's early access, you know? Everybody's bronze. <laughs> it's my friend, Matches Malone. MTG Malone in the house. Hello, friend. What's up? How are you doing? Okay. Giving a mole. Not bad. Not bad. We have already filleged the bog, which that's nice. Can start finding my combo pieces. Ah, oh, that's cute. I didn't even know you could have that, to be honest. What do they have? Whenever you commit a crime... I have a lot of things. Like, you can destroy my bat. I mean, you have options, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'll block. I want to get rid of the tiny bones. I'll plot it. Sure. I can look at all of that. Can I cast? Yeah, I can. They can destroy it, but YOLO. They have to spend all the mana if they want to destroy it. I'm okay with that. Sure. Oh. Tiny bones. I'll plot this. Ooh, that's good. Guess I have to kill it. First I'll attack. Sure. What do I want? I guess I want this pre one. It's the best. Although the smuggler, I just need to have seven mana. 
I have three, I have six, so I can do this, but it's not going to do me much with six. So I can do this for three. I mean, I only have one opponent. Oh no! Not Chili, come on! Come on, Malone, not Chili! That's unfair. That card is stupid. It is his early access friend, what's up? Why are you playing Shieldred? Yeah, I'm dead. Dead for Shieldred. I mean, I'm also playing like... But yeah, Shieldred, I mean, that card is busted. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so we are against Dot Esports MTG. And this is not bad. I mean, not bad. We have Rush of the Dead, Binding Negotiation, Deep... Okay, we have, we have things. We have some things. I'll keep it. Man is good. Ooh, two Rush of the Dead. Ooh. That's concerning. Whenever you commit a crime, sure. This only triggers once a turn, so that's the good news. Okay, that's fine. That calculate, I'm going to plot these and pass. Next time I can do Rush of the Dead to make them sack off of the creatures, but that's only good if they play at least one more creature. That's okay. Ah, so they do. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I have Tail Swipe, I'm not going to say no. You know what I mean? Whenever one or more tokens enter battlefield under your opponent's control, for each of them, one or more. Okay, sure. Sure, 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 sure. As long as they don't mess with my obliterator, we can be friends. We can be friends, that's fine. That has that touch, I'm not going to. They might want to replace it. Yeah, they might be considering just replacing the tutu. Oh, never mind, what is that? So they don't have mana, so I might as well do it now. Sacrifice. <laughs> and then I'm going to make them. It depends on what they decide to do. So it's three. They have to sacrifice three things. They kind of have to take it. As well, do it. Okay, so they had six. I can make them lose half their life, and that would be. Ooh, but wait a second. Sure, it's not a good game yet, but almost. Yeah. It depends. What did? It... Yeah, that's not enough. Okay, but let me combo. Let me combo. Ha <laughs> ha 
Let's go! We're against our friend M. Hawks. So I'm excited about this game. Uh, opponent goes first. There's, okay, there's some potential if I can get lens and we don't die fast, but we'll see. Okay, the cavern is going to give us some time, which is nice. Some damage, some desert things. Uh, Kella needs 3 mana. Flash, when I enter this battlefield, exile target spell. Uh, well, I don't even know, they are all good. I want to plot this though. That no more lies, kind of annoying though, not going to lie. I'll try to attack first. Okay, so that's plotted. If they play Kalen, they cannot no more lies, which is nice. Okay. can go for blood letter or I can just kill that let's go with blood letter first and let's do that before they can do anything about it I mean rush to death is a combo so I'll try it that way they definitely need to keep mana for no more lies. Okay. But if I get a land... Fortunately this one is tapped. So I definitely want to do... Oh, they have two no more lies. This is an outlaw, and this has ward. So yeah, I have to wait. So they don't have mana though. Right, yeah, they don't have mana. It's a combo, you know? It's a combo. Overall, very fun deck to play with. I liked it. I felt like I tried to do too much and maybe I also experimented with a lot of cards. The bog really surprised me. The plot ability is really strong and the combo between Blood or Letter and the Rush of the Dread is really strong. I felt like I couldn't really obliterate her from the... Um, from the smuggle surprise which felt underwhelming maybe it's too much mana or maybe you just have to play it in a ramp deck but i really like the combo between the blood letters so let me know what you think of this deck what would you change and what do you think of this set so far i played against a lot of cool people so i hope you liked the games that i played and that said i'm going to be posting more videos i'll see you in the next one bye bye